Hi guys, Susie here. So today we are in the kitchen again. This time I am going to be organizing the pantry which desperately needs it. Um, I organized or reorganized the pantry about two to three, I think it's been closer to three months ago. Um, didn't work out, the system did not work out. So I'm hoping that this time it sticks. Um, let me show you guys what we're working with. So as you can see, it is quite the disaster in there. That's not all though. Yeah, I know. I let it go pretty bad. Not proud of it, but it is what it is. We don't have a huge pantry. This, these are both of our cabinets that we use to store our food and what? Um, baking goods and yeah. So I just have to make the best out of it. And I'm gonna show you guys the storage bins that I bought. They are so so cute. Don't mind Zoe. She's eating some tomatoes. Say hi, baby. Say hi, dear. I know she's wearing her Christmas yeah. Christmas jammies. They didn't have any other clean ones, so we're working with that. These are the containers that I bought for the pantry, and these are so cute, and I think they're so convenient as well. It comes with this little tiny storage bin. It also comes with a medium-sized bin. And finally this larger one and what's great about this as you see it comes with this linen um, cloth and you can easily remove it and wash it just throw it in the washer and it's so easy to use um, that's without the cloth I got these from eBay um, they were under 20 bucks so very inexpensive and they look very sturdy as well feel sturdy um let's see i also got these mason jars i got these from my local grocery store uh ralph's i believe ralph's is also um the sister store of food for less so you can try checking there if you're inter interested in buying these these are the 32 ounce um i will also try to look for them online for you guys if you are interested in buying them everything that i've used here today i will leave it in the description box below and the last thing that i bought off of ebay is this plastic storage bin um i thought these would be really cute and neat to store um zoe snacks so these are all the things that i'm going to be using to reorganize the pantry let's hop to it because it needs it i'm gonna start out by emptying all the cabinets and then cleaning them up and then, and then storing the stuff away so going through the very first cabinet which is where i keep all my spices and um, baking goods i am emptying all this out and then just going um, through each individual item making sure that it is still safe to use and not past its expiration date. I was going through the cabinet, I forgot I had certain items because it was stashed all the way in the bag and then I end up buying the item 10 times and forget that it's there. to store anything that can be stored such as um, flax seeds, um, coconut, flakes, um, cookies are really good and as well as like chocolate chips is what I'm going to be using um, these for and I also used a piece of scotch tape to label the expiration date so I don't forget when it does expire and it just stays nice and neat. You don't have to go out and buy any extra labels, just use what you have at home.
now I am just playing with all the different spice jars since they are all different shapes and sizes. It just takes a little bit of finagling for them to fit in the um, little organizing crate. storing some Oreo cookies in case you're curious to know what these are. Um, I had a little bit, uh, I don't know, a little less than half of the package left and it actually ended up working great um, to store these cookies in the mixing jars. So I used the bigger storage bins to store um, like the girls mac and cheese, um, this one has a bunch of snacks and here is all the glass um, stuff, bread, croutons, um, down here I have um, Zoe's snacks, um, some pasta sauces and all the canned goods. Here at the bottom shelf I have all the different spices um, that I packed. So you can see very neatly in there and then here is the other side in the back i just put um kind of like the gravy um mixes and whatnot and here is some more spices and then here are these little jars um these i've had for a while i'm not sure where i bought them i want to say world market but i am not sure this jar right here i believe i found at Michael's. I'm not 100% sure. It could have been Walmart. And this little jar here, they, I think they sell these pretty much anywhere. Um, Target, Michael's, um, the container store. You can, I guess, find them anywhere. Keeps, I like to store my tea bags in here since it keeps them fresh. And then all these mason jars, I'll show you what I packed in each individual one. So this is brown sugar. Um, these are coconut flakes. And I'm pretty sure you guys saw that I labeled these. I just used a regular piece of scotch tape. Um, very inexpensive. You don't have to go out and buy something you don't need. Um, just use what you have at home. These are some Oreo cookies. Uh, raisins. Back there are flax seeds, and then that's powdered sugar, marshmallows, and then some white chocolate chips. And then up here, I have all my baking spices. These are the medium-sized storage bins that I used for um, using all this stuff. And I kind of organized it as well, what I use the most. So spices, I use basically every day when I cook. This stuff, and eh, not so much. And baking, it's... I mean, I don't bake every single week, let alone every month, so there's no need to keep it in reach 
Okay guys, so that is all for today. I hope you enjoyed this Organize With Me pantry video. I tried to make it as cost efficient as possible, but yet making it look super nice. So if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel by hitting that red subscribe button. I will see you guys next time. Bye.